Hi YouTube, this is Bill, and I've been thinking about temperature control vaping for beginners. I remember when I first got involved with vaping and I bought my first high-powered mod, it had temperature control settings on it, and I had no clue as to what they were all about. So, as usual, I went on YouTube to try to find some answers, and there wasn't much directly associated with what I wanted to know. And I had basic questions. Questions like, what is TC vaping? Why can't I use a canthal coil in TC mode? What is a TCR setting? And most importantly, how do I set up this mod to do all this fancy vaping? Well, I'm going to try to answer those questions and near the end of this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step procedure how to set up your mod so you can vape in TC mode. So question one, what is TC vaping? Temperature control vaping is a high-tech solution for avoiding dry and burnt hits. It also extends your battery life, your coil and cotton wick life, gives you a much more consistent vape, and can really improve the flavor of your vape. When in TC mode, the coil temperature is controlled, like cruise control in your car. In your car, when you're climbing a hill, the engine needs to provide more power to maintain your set speed. When it's going down a hill, the engine needs to throttle back to provide less power, so you maintain the same speed. Well. When you're vaping in TC mode and the coil is cool, wattage is automatically ramped up in your mod. When the coil reaches that set max temperature, the wattage is automatically throttled down. Cruise control for your mod. Question two, why can't I vape canthal in TC mode? Well, technically, when your mod is in its TC mode, it really isn't controlling the temperature. It's keeping a very close eye on your coil resistance. And it's calculating what the temperature would be at that new resistance. So that leads us to wire types. There's canthal, there's stainless steel, there's nickel, there's titanium, and the rest. Some wires, like stainless steel, titanium, and nickel, have variable resistance. In other words, when they're heated up, the resistance changes. The resistance goes up. When the resistance in these wires change, we can predict what temperature they are at. Canthal's resistance, on the other hand, remains relatively stable. Since Canthal's resistance doesn't change, the mod can't predict what its new temperature is. That's why you cannot use Canthal and certain other wires in temperature control mode, because they do not have variable resistance. Question three, what the heck is TCR? Well, TCR stands for Temperature Coefficient of Resistance. Sounds confusing, but really pretty simple. Every wire has a TCR value. In other words, if you heat a wire up, its resistance changes at a certain rate. That rate is called the temperature coefficient of resistance. Look at this chart. On the bottom is the changing temperature. On the left-hand side of the chart is the rising resistance. We can plot the points at each temperature with its corresponding resistance and draw a line through all of the points. Going back to high school algebra, uh-oh, your math teacher warned you about this. The slope of that line, in other words, how much the resistance changes compared to how much the temperature is changing, is the TCR. You can find the TCR value for any wire simply by Googling TCR chart. Here's an example of what you might see. Now, 
The last question is, how do I actually set my mod to vape and TC mode? Well, I guess I'm going to have to show you, and I'm going to set up this mod right here. It's the Geek Vape Nova, and we're going to take a step-by-step -step approach to setting up this mod in TC mode. So let's go. So here's the first mod I'm going to show you. It's the Geek Vape Nova mod. Very retro looking, isn't it? Let's turn it on and see what we've got. I've got a, a stainless steel Kylan M coil atomizer on here. To turn it on, five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And here she comes. There she is. And it's showing you that it's in power mode, which is watt mode, 55 watts. The coil is a 0.23 ohm coil, voltage 3.45. That's That changes as you vape, as you can see. And uh, amperage is calculated as you vape. And puff count, five. Well, we want this thing to be in stainless steel temperature control mode. So to do that, once you're on, you click it three times. One, two, three, and you'll see it turns orange up top. And hitting the plus key to change modes. Watch, it goes to TC mode for uh, nickel. Within five seconds, you have to do this. There's TC stainless mode. Now in TC stainless mode, when I press the power button, it jumps down to coil so that I can lock it again. And I press it again, it jumps down to wattage so I can adjust my wattage here. Let's do 45. I press it again, it skips right over TCR and goes right to the puff count. The reason it skips over the TCR is because Geek Vape has set this mod up when you're in stainless steel mode, which we are now, temperature control SS, that it wants you to vape at 105. So that's all you have to do. You're done. Now, what if you don't like vaping at 105? Let's say you like to vape at uh, 92. Well, you can press the power button three times. Now, this time you press the up button and you go to titanium. Then you go to TCR mode. TCR mode, you can lock the resistance, you can adjust your wattage, and you can adjust your TCR. Let's make it 92. By pressing the down button, it goes down. By pressing the up button, there we are at 92. And press it again, you're in puff count. Hold it for 0.8 seconds, and you're ready to go. So we are now in TCR mode. In other words, it's allowed us to adjust our temperature um, coefficient of resistance and vape at whatever we desire. Now it's very close to what it was in stainless steel mode. One, two, three presses and we'll just go all the way back to stainless steel mode right there. See it's still at 105. One, two, three Go into TCR, titanium, TCR mode right there, 92. So that's the difference between TCR mode and TC stainless steel mode. In TC stainless steel mode, you have a fixed TCR. You cannot change it. But if you want to change the TCR value, you can go to TC, TCR mode and do whatever you want. Now... How did I come up with that number of 92 when they're telling me it should be 105? Well, you can go online, you can Google TCR charts, and you can see a whole bunch of charts, and most of them will agree within a digit or two. But for stainless steel, let me tell you that anywhere between 88 and, say, 110, 115 is okay. So those are the TCR values. Remember, in the first part, I explained to you that the TCR value is nothing more than the slope of the temperature versus resistance curve. That's where those numbers on these charts you can find if you Google them. Besides Googling them, you can also go to Steam Engine. Shows 88. So, anyway, that's one way to get it, to go to Steam Engine. If you don't like fooling around with Steam Engine, just go Google online TCR charts and go to images or pictures and you'll see all kinds of charts that are available. Try to choose a reliable one. If you have any questions or comments, 
go right ahead and leave them in the comments section and I'd be more than happy to answer them if I can. If I can't, I will refer you to a place where you can get an answer. How's that for a deal? Anyway, good luck.